Did you have an appointment? No. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Hello. I'll finish that later. Put my call through to New York, will you? That'll be all. That'll be all. Tough. We can be tough, too. All right, don't be late. I've been down to the city hall. They smoke the worst cigars in the city. What were you doing in the city hall? Very important business. Look, look. What do you think of that? Well, it's a marriage license. Haven't you heard? You're about to become Mrs. Thorne. Come on, get your hat. Oh, Jim, you're not serious about that, are you? What do you mean? Well, well no, no, wait a minute. Let's get this thing straight. Are you telling me you won't marry me? Well, I never thought of such a thing. Then last night didn't mean anything to you. Oh, of course it did. But, well, marriage isn't for me, for us. After all, we can be so happy as we are. Don't let's spoil everything. Then you don't love me. Oh, Jim, you're being unreasonable. I'm just one of the boys, is that it? Don't be absurd. You're being old-fashioned. Is it old-fashioned to want to be decent? Oh, Lexman. I suppose you think you're too superior for marriage. And love and children. The things that women were born for. Say, so who do you think you are? Are you so drunk with your own importance, you think you can make your own rules? Well, you're a fake. You've been playing this part so long, you've begun to believe it. A great superwoman. Cracking your whip and making these poor fools jump around. You and your new freedom. Why, if you weren't so pathetic, you'd be funny. You better go. Don't worry, I'm on my way. But the laugh's on me, offering a marriage license to a pickup. New York's on the wire. Hello. 